welcome to day one of SHOT Show. I'm Amy Sweezy. This is the largest and most comprehensive trade show for professionals in the shooting sports, hunting, outdoor, and law enforcement industries. With more than 2,500 exhibits covering nearly 820,000 square feet, there's a lot to see. Let's take a look around. With so much to see, you might want a little help getting around. So be sure you download the mobile app. You'll be able to find maps to the show, information on educational sessions, and anything you need to have a successful SHOT Show. Hey guys, Ryan Kleckner at the 2024 SHOT Show. Now I'm normally coming to you to update you about Gun University or what's happening with legal and legislative affairs at the ATF or federal gun laws, but I've got something new I'm excited to share with you this show. I came up with a software product that is absolutely free for all FFLs. Now the reason we came up with this is you have ATF compliant software for keeping track of your records as an FFL, the A&D and Bound Book, all those things like that. All the solutions I see out there that I would recommend to my clients on a daily basis, all had some problems that I didn't like. And it spent a couple years complaining about those problems till I decided, let's fix them. I don't want things that you have to go work around behind the scenes and plug into something to make it work for your downloads. I don't want something that you have to pay a lot of money to stay out of trouble at the ATF. That doesn't sound fair. And I don't want something that makes you click around from one menu to the next to figure out how to run your bound book. Because what would end up happening is, with my clients I'm representing against the ATF, they thought they were doing the right thing, they tried to do the right thing, the software told them it was the right thing, and they were still getting in trouble. This year's SHOT Show is just the new products. I think with every year that comes, there's just new products out on the market, and having worked in law enforcement and working with firearms, we're always excited to see what's out in the, in the market and what's new and available. You get to see all my old friends from the industry. I mean, this is my 21st show, so it's nice to see the guys. Coming here to SHOT Show, seeing all these, like, you know, gun manufacturers, boots, and stuff like that, the networking opportunities, I'm excited. I'm really excited. New guns, new stuff, and new everything, and uh, everybody's smiling. This is the this is a really huge experience because we don't have such such as big fair in Czech Republic. This is really really awesome experience to visit the shot show. Whenever we get new firearms, it's always cool to be the first ones to be able to touch them to figure out what's new. So we checked out Glock, FN, Beretta, and seeing what they have out there, as well as whatever's new in bullet manufacturing to see how they take up their mark. So whenever we see the new machining process, that's kind of down, so we'll go and check those out too. This is like where everything starts, like ground zero for what we do at work. I'm here now with Ashley Lubinsky. Ashley, you are here to talk about the University of Wyoming, a very special program that's going on there. Yeah, so I am the founding executive director of a relatively new research center that is the University of Wyoming College of Laws Firearms Research Center. So I know it's a very, very long name, but we're looking at doing a lot of different scholarship kind of in the Second Amendment community, but then also working with kind of the media, the public on the perceptions of firearms and culture. So we've got a lot of projects going on with that, but it's been pretty successful. We opened in January of 2023, and so we just had our anniversary. And one of the big things that we're really proud of is we've actually have a suicide prevention initiative partnering, partnering with the Wyoming Department of Health and the VA. So a lot of things happening. Why did you feel like this was so important? 
So it's kind of an interesting time right now for firearm scholarship, firearms research. My background is I'm a firearms historian. So I used to run a very large museum that had a big firearms collection. And one thing that I noticed was that there was a complete lack of scholarship on firearms, firearms history within the university system in the United States. Ironically, overseas, you actually can get a degree studying firearms a lot easier than you can here. And so I saw the lack of scholarship and my co-founder, George Moxery, who's a Second Amendment lawyer, um, you know, we kind of saw that not a lot of people were studying it from a real nonpartisan kind of avenue. And so we married our two specialties together to try to encourage a new generation of people to study firearms through a range of different disciplines. That's amazing. How excited are you to be at SHOT Show? Oh gosh, it's my 10th SHOT Show, so I feel like I'm a little tired, but it's always great for any of my clients, I'm a consultant, so I always have a lot of people here, because it's kind of a one-stop shop when it comes to networking or even meeting potential donors for a project like this, because a lot of times when you fundraise, you gotta travel to each place, but at SHOT Show, you know the executives are here, you know that you can meet with you know, 20 people instead of spending all the money to go travel around. So it's really good, especially for nonprofits that don't have a lot of money, it allows them to network in a way that they wouldn't necessarily get anywhere else. All right, Ashley Lubinsky, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Hey, Tim Kennedy here. I am at SHOT Show in Las Vegas. Um, I have been coming here for over 20 years. One of my first jobs, in, literally in high school, was working for a far, firearms industry out of Central California. So here we are 20 some odd years later. And uh, man, I love this place for a variety of reasons. First and foremost, because every single person in this place loves the Second Amendment. Um, they, they not just work here in the industry, but they have shared values and shared purpose of wanting to protect the Second Amendment, which is super powerful. Um, and you get to bump in, like I just ran into a former teammate that I was a Green Beret with in Fort Bragg, North Carolina, 15 years ago. Last time that I saw him was on a plane back from Iraq. You know, and it's like, and then I bump into him. I bumped into my friend from sniper school in 2006. It's just the wildest, coolest place. It's a real small world when you kind of been here a bit. Um, but if you haven't been here a bit, like one of my friends over here, this is her first time here at SHOT Show. So I have Michelle Watterson. This is a, di a different kind of connection. She and I were teammates at Jackson Winkle John MMA. Um, Michelle has been fighting in the UFC for a super professional fighter for 17 years. What brought you to SHOT Show your first time here? Why are you here? Well, um, like you said, I've been doing MMA for a long time, professional fighter for 17 years. And it kind of just brings me back full circle. So when I was doing karate, like with my nickname, the Karate Heidi, right? I thought I knew everything as a black belt in karate. And then I, I dove into the combat world and, and realized how elementary my combat skills really were. Um, and that's why I started fighting. And then introducing weapons, the knives, the guns, it just takes me right back to how much I really don't know. Yeah. And so I'm just here really trying to educate myself and trying to take in as much knowledge as possible. And everybody here is so knowledgeable, so helpful, so friendly, and I just love it. Is there anything that you've seen here that you're like, this is sick? Like, I, I, I love I mean, everything, and, and you can pick everything. What I love about it is that you can pick it up, you can put it in your hand, you can feel it, you can ask questions, you know, you can you can check out the sites. Um, and I have lots of questions. And, and sometimes I, I get intimidated by asking them because I don't want them to think that I um, don't belong. But everybody, like I said, has been so helpful and is, is just so eager to, to teach me about all these cool new things that they have, all the new inventions. I like I like all the the new the, the new tech that they have yeah. and all the VR stuff. I think that's really cool. This is Karate Hottie. Follow on all social media. She's absolutely amazing. And I got another dude I got to bring over here. All right, so I'm here with Kagan. He's an active duty Marine, yeah. and this is your first time at Shot very Show. First time, very first time at Shot Show. Super excited to be here, man. I've been meeting so many incredible people in the industry. It's it's like. My brain's melting. Yeah. There's too much stuff going on. I don't like, you know what I mean? Here, you have every single thing that could possibly make your job easier that oh, you yeah. mostly don't get. Oh, yeah. What you're, has been your favorite? You're well fed here. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, you're very satiated appetite for here for sure. But like all of the, like the suppressor stands, like all the different technologies that are out there that are making it safer for people, like for the users and stuff like that. All of the different apparel companies that are out here that are like some sort of feature that, that somehow in, enhances the shooter's ability to 
react quickly to whatever's going on. Like, I mean, it's so hard to even put into words because there's so much cool stuff. Yeah. Right now is one of the best times for this industry because we have the most stuff at our disposal yeah. than we've ever had before. And especially when, with technology and stuff. So it's just really cool to be here and see all of the innovation that's going on with all these different companies and like how far they've gone, how far we've come, and how far we can continue to go in the future, you know what I mean? How fun is it? It's probably one of the most fun experiences I've had in my life. 2024 SHOT Show, Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, we're standing in the Tridgecon booth and there is something that I've been trying to get my hands on, but they got one here, but they won't give it to me, which is the new RCR. If you have been a fan of the RMR, the red dot, I think that kind of like has revolutionized everything about pistol shooting. Um, if you don't have a red dot on your weapon, I just don't know what's going on in this in, in 2023, 2024. You're gonna blow my mind. You can shoot a three minute of angle, one minute of angle, Accurate as heck, right on right on top of your weapon. It makes no sense not to have it. And this is one of the newest things. So let me show you this bad boy. I'm gonna snag this uh, RCR right here. Can I steal this thing? Look at this bad boy. So completely enclosed, encased red dot. Um, yesterday when I was on the range, it was a little wet, a little rainy, a little muddy, because I'm a dirty savage. And I was like, oh, it's dirty. And then I went back to shooting. Just a little, little, little powerful Superman breath and we go back to work. So this is one of my favorite, beautiful, new 3.25 minute of angle and uh, all the features of the RMR that you know and love, but now it's encased. You know, um, brand new sniper rifles across the street here on the precision side. Just every single corner has magic and I'm loving it. So uh, this might be the best shot show ever. I'm at, I'm at it. One must-see section of the SHOT Show is our new product center at the Venetian Expo Level 1. The industry's hottest new products of the year have been collected into one easy-to-shop destination. The SHOT Show New Product Center is a stockpile of insights into new firearms and accessories hitting the market. It's a great shortcut to identifying must-see tech and innovation. Educational opportunities at the SHOT Show are always growing. SHOT University offers a la carte training courses to help retailers and ranges hone their management skills for today's highly competitive and regulated marketplace. Sessions cover topics such as customer communications, ATF and ICS, compliance, operations, marketing, workforce development, and more. For more information on SHOT University, the law enforcement education program, and export training sessions, go to shotshow.org. Sponsored by Archery Business Magazine, the all-new Archery Business Pavilion is designed to provide a comprehensive look at the archery industry, from traditional equipment to cutting-edge technology in compound bows, trail cams, and other gear. Good for any firearm or archery retailer, these are high margin product lines perfect to broaden your business. I think it's great to see the archery and bow hunting all represented here at SHOT Show because um, we have a lot of guns, um, a lot of military stuff and so it's nice to see that archery side represented here. I'm absolutely excited for this to be at SHOT Show. It's been years in the making. The firearm industry is very small in a certain sense, but everything in the Midwest is going to deal with archery. You can't find somebody that's in sport goods or in any type of outdoor activities that doesn't have a bow for their kids or for themselves. Find the Archery Business Pavilion at the Caesars Forum in the Academy Ballroom. SHOT Show 2024 and the energy in here is absolutely amazing. 
There's so much excitement, so much to see, and I'm really excited to be checking out all the new stuff that is coming out for this year. Every time when I come to SHOT Show, it is like a big 2A family reunion. You get to see all your friends, hang out, and for me, one of the most important and coolest things that I like to do is meet the people behind these brands. Because, you know, you see a lot of the big brands here. You see Chris USA, you see Hogue, you see AGM. Um, you know, all of these big brands that we see online. And you get to actually meet the people behind these brands. And for me, I love to do that. I also like the fact that everything you see online, you know, you get to see it in real life here. You get to hold it, touch it, pick it up, and you get the sneak peek on all the new stuff coming out for 2024, which is really exciting, which is what we're going to go do now. We're going to take a peek at some of those items, so follow me. We're going to go check out some of the new product launches. All right, guys, so I am here at the Chris USA booth with Charlie, who is going to be our expert with the new Gen 3 Vector that Chris has just launched for 2024. Charlie, can you tell us about it? Sure. This is uh, what we're calling our Gen 3 version. Um, what we did was internally it's pretty much the same. So we focused on the outside of the gun, a lot of modularity, feedback that we've gotten throughout the years. So what we've done is we've uh, changed pretty much a lot of the whole outside and we've added a lot of features. Um, I'll start up on top here. In the old days, like the guns pictured behind me, this portion right here, it had like a, an area that was molded in. You could put a buffer tube or we have a, a different folding stock. The key change that we did is we eliminated that, made this skinnier, and we put a pic Picatinny rail back here. And we also created this folding stock. And this folding stock's really cool. It's very modular. Um, you can fold it left, right. You can, the operator can change this. You can have the button on top. You can have it on the, on the bottom. Um, also here, it ex extends out three positions. This button right here is also, uh, you can change that. Um, a key feature that we really added is the pistol grip here. It looks like the old one, but this is an actual pistol grip similar to an AR style platform. You can take this off, you can use ours, you can use you know third parties. Um, we have a grip cord here that connects into the lower portion. That's to retain our, our patent on our shape. Um, another feature that we did was the trigger here. The trigger pre-travel that we had, it, um, we had complaints that, oh, it's too long in that. We shortened that up. Uh, another key feature on this guy is the magazine release button. Okay. This magazine release, it's truly ambidextrous. So like here, I have it set up to where you can push it on the right side. You could take this apart and put it back together and have it being pushed on uh, the right side versus the left side. Wow. Um, we also uh, extended this out a little bit so that a lot of people on our guns, they had issues with dropping the magazine and that. We kind of made the profile to make it less likely for that to happen. Um, the bolt release right here, we changed that. We made it a little bit bigger so that it's easier to manipulate. The charging handle on this gun, um, we basically took the, the, it had a longer handle on it and we shortened that up, changed the profile in here so it fits your hand better. Um, one of the uh, neat things is on our barrel shrouds here, the old ones, everybody come up and say, oh, what is it, a suppressor? No, it's a shroud that covers uh, like a heat shroud, but we actually bolt it to the lower instead of bolting it directly to the barrel. Um, also too, on the top Picatinny rail, the old ones, you had to take a pin out and pull this all apart. Now it actually bolts on to it so that it's easier to maintain. Wow. So it sounds like you guys kept the very classic vector aesthetic that everyone loves about it, but just updated a couple of things. And I noticed even the logo looks a little yep. bit different. Yep. We I love it. this. And I love that it's a lot more customizable. You know, like you said, you could change the grip out. Mm -hmm. Awesome work. I'm very excited about this launch. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, I am here at AGM with Randy, who is going to tell us about their brand new product, which is the Rat. No problem. That's the Rattler V2. Rattler V2, yep. Okay. Just make sure I get all the words right. All right, guys, I am 
here at AGM with Randy, who is going to tell us all about their new product, which is the Rattler V2. It is an upgrade from the original Rattler. He's going to tell us what makes it different and why you need it. Yeah, so if you're familiar with our thermal products, the Rattler V1 was probably our most popular thermal scope for a lot of really popular reasons. It was compact, lightweight, it was really simple, kind of everything that you need. Um, the Rattler V2 is really just an upgrade in all aspects to the Rattler V1. There's a few prominent differences I want to talk about. Um, in the body itself, the focus knob has these three distinct uh, position or parts of the uh, knob itself that allow you to focus it more rapidly and smoothly. The whole focus uh, amount of focus in the rotation here is only a quarter turn, about a quarter turn. So you get to focus the entire spectrum really quick and smooth at night. So it helps you just get on target really fast. Outside of that the body is similar the button layout is going to be similar to the v1s with some small differences everything's a little bit more ruggedized so it's just a little bit better design but the battery compartment now uses instead of cr123 batteries that go about four to maybe five six hours our new proprietary battery you get two of them in the box, nine to 11 hours of runtime per battery. So you're gonna be out there all night long. You also get a spare you could throw in your pocket. And if that's not something you still prefer and you wanna do a, a battery backup, you could always plug that in. Outside of that, we're still running the ADM, uh, American Defense Manufacturing, QD mounts on these. They're fantastic, we've had nothing but good. We've heard nothing but good about those mounts and we love using them. And then internally, the entire user interface has been simplified and upgraded, right? So it's a lot more easy to use. It's a lot more simple. The, the buttons, the layout, it's just a, an all-around massive upgrade to our Rattler V1s at really the same price point. So we still have six models ranging 256 all the way up to 640 all coming in from around a thousand bucks to about forty five hundred dollars so whatever you want we've got it in the rattler v2 well i know i own some of your optics yeah. and they're super clear they're awesome they're yeah. just a very sexy product so congratulations on the launch i'm excited for thank it you. thank you're you you're welcome you bet. all right guys thank you so much for tuning in hope you're having an amazing shot show and we are sending some of this fun exciting energy to you Our company has been around for innovative uh, designs coming into the industry every year and it's a great social event to get together with all your buddies that you haven't seen and see what's up and coming new. It's important that I see what new products are coming out, especially ammunition and bullets. We come here to look at new products, um, new holsters, new guns, and see what the latest is in law enforcement. I'm here at Chacho just to represent Imbabala Lodge down in Cape Town and in Durban. So we're offering hunting services. If you guys are interested in hunting, we're the place to come to. I'm at SHOT Show just for the connections and just the obviously great attendance at this show. It's just been a great show, great return for us. We just keep coming back, we, we enjoy it, love it. I'm Julie Golub here. I'm a pro shooter for Smith & Wesson at SHOT Show, and this is my SHOT Show show and tell. We're starting at the Project Child Safe booth, founded in 1999. This is my very first SHOT Show myself, so we share a little bit in common. This is a fantastic way to learn more about firearm safety, and of course, they've given over 40 million gun locks for free. So if you're not here at the show and check them out, you can still go to projectchildsafe.org. Let's hit some more else next. If you are a firearms enthusiast, you must add this to your bucket list. The Cody Firearms Museum located in the Buffalo Bills Center of the West. We have Danny, Japen, and Kirsten here. They're more than happy to answer all of your questions about the 7,000 firearms located in the facility. Plus there's art, there's history, everything. And of course, Yellowstone. 
and you can win a trip. So come get some jerky, some coffee, talk to these wonderful people, and check them out at Chacho or at Cody Farms Museum online. History in the making, guys. Smith & Wesson just launched a brand new lever action rifle. This is the model 1854. It's history in the making, and if you're at SHOT Show, you'll definitely want to come to the booth and check it out. What's unique about this is it has polymer stocks, forend, great way to attach your favorite accessories. So think of a classic lever gun with a lot of modern features. You'll definitely want to check this out. And all of the other products here at Smith & Wesson, and have a great time at SHOT Show if you're here. And if not, check us out online. And uh, until the next one, be safe and have fun. Hi everybody, welcome back. I am joined now by two very special guests. I have Dr. Matthew Miller, who is the Executive Director of the Veterans Affairs VA Suicide Prevention Program. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, great to be here. And I also, of course, have Joe Bartosi, who is the President and CEO of NSSF. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. Thanks so much for having us. So the fact that you're both here with me together, there's a reason for that, and that is because you have this incredible partnership. Let's start with you, Joe. Talk a little bit about the partnership with the VA. Well, the NSF engaged in a suicide prevention program some years ago with AFSP, American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, and we expanded that to work very closely with the Veterans Administration to prevent veteran suicide as well. Uh, we're very proud of the program, and we think it's very important because our industry has a lot of veterans so it's a natural fit for us to be able to talk about this subject. Okay, and Dr. Miller, why was it so important to be here at SHOT Show? Yeah, as Joe said, natural fit, but with veterans, you know, uh, about 70% of veterans who die by suicide die by firearm suicide. And getting the message across about safe storage, understanding how safe storage can save their lives or those that they care about uh, during critical periods in their life, that's what this is about. What are some of the statistics that you can share? Well, so we know that, uh, as I mentioned, 70%, it's uh, been going up since 2000, 2001, hasn't gone down. We're at 72% uh, for our latest data. We also know that the difference between veterans who die by firearm suicide and non-veterans is, is pretty significant. Um, about 65% higher for non-veteran uh, males uh, versus veteran males. And for females, it's about 200% uh, higher for veteran females. So really important topic for us to be discussing. And Joe, how did it come about then that the NSSF got involved with having this partnership? What well, we had learned that most firearm deaths were actually not homicides and not accidents, they were actually suicides. Uh, once we kind of realized this and did the, did the study, uh, we thought it would be a, a good opportunity for us to enter into the discussion about secure storage, putting, uh, they say, time between the thought and the trigger, as we say, uh, and, and bringing to bear the firearm community as a helping, trusted entity in this discussion. So what are some of the things that are happening here this year at SHOT Show? I think what the SHOT Show really demonstrates for us is that this is a partnership. I think you mentioned, Joe, the importance of um, serving as a messenger, talking, communicating. This isn't about we're not here to represent the federal government and restriction or uh, Second Amendment uh, rights being pulled. We're here to talk within the context of Second Amendment and how can we together save lives. I guarantee you the majority of time veteran to veteran and members of NSSF to others are the best messengers of that, certainly not me. So that's why we're here. Joe, how important is it just to have SHOT Show? It gives us a forum, right? We're reaching a hundred more or more countries. We're reaching a nationwide audience. We've got media folks here from all over the world. And it's a, it's a time for us to come together as a community to have, you know, yes, business, it's a business show, but we also, there's more than just business, right? It's, you know, say, mankind is our business, so to speak. We're all humans, we all want the right thing, and we're very happy to be part of this. We're, we're you know, it's a passion project for, for many of us, uh, and certainly we want the message to go across. There's no mutually exclusive between owning a gun or, you know, uh, having a problem with a gun, so we want to say we can do this together, we can have this trusted conversation, we can have a brave conversation, and prevent suicides and save lives. 
Any closing thoughts for me, Dr. Miller? Well, I think the community aspect is so critical to the success of communicating that message. I mean, I've seen a lot of hugging around here. I mean, there's people coming together, and uh, I think that that really provides a powerful context for getting the message out about safe storage and saving lives. All right. Thank you both for being here. Dr. Matt Miller, Executive Director of the Suicide Prevention Program for the VA, and also, of course, Joe Bartosi. President and CEO of NSSF. Thank you both for being here. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, that's a wrap on day one of SHOT Show, and it was jam-packed. But don't forget, this year's show features more networking than ever before. On Wednesday, be sure to check out the industry networking event, and on Thursday, the official closing party. For more information, be sure to download the mobile app. For now, we leave you with the sights and sounds from the All-Star Jam. What's happening, folks? John Lovell, Warrior Poet Society. I'm hanging out at SHOT Show 2024. Right now, I'm at the Daniel Defense booth. Uh, all these beautiful guns, including this girl. She's a Warrior Poet Daniel Defense rifle, and you're probably salivating. You're probably envious. I get it, but you don't have to be. You could get one of your own. Who's you could... this short guy? Who is this guy? Sebastian Gorka. Does this guy know anything about guns? No, nope, nothing. Sure. He's got a nice beard, <laughs> but that's about it. This is why I love SHOT Show. You never know when somebody, a dear friend, is just going to come up at an inopportune he's time. Deal. He's a real deal. He's He's huge. He's a giant. I love SHOT Show because I am able to run into old friends, industry partners. I just ran into two Ranger buddies that I served with at Ranger Regiment once upon a time. Uh, and I also get to be able to hang out, interface with companies like Daniel Defense and uh, hang out and play with guns. So if you're at SHOT Show, make sure you uh, check out Daniel Defense. If you see me on the floor, fist bump, high five, not too close boundaries, people. Uh, but we'll see you on the floor. Cheers. SHOT Show welcomes thousands of industry professionals each and every year. The world's largest shooting, hunting, and outdoor trade show is... On behalf of our entire team at NSSF, we hope you have the most productive SHOT Show ever.